Hey what's up everybody my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 under that much difficulty. Today we're gonna do another scavenger hunt. We're gonna try and find all the diagrams for the cat school gear, the basic cat school gear. Uh, we found one of those um, when we uh, were looking for Philippa Eilhart I think. Well we found that in her elven ruins behind that broken wall if you remember. And the rest seems to be, well, part of the rest seems to be beneath Temple Isle, and that so happens to be where we are right now. I'm gonna try and not kill myself around here, because this place is kind of dangerous. Uh, it looks, although I should be able to drop down here, but I might have to check around here first, because I think, if I remember correctly, there's a path here somewhere. Yeah, over here, okay. And this way, I should be able to drop down, there we go, and alongside the cliffs of Temple Isle, we should be able to get into a cave of some sort, beneath the infamous prison. Look at that. An illusion. We're already confronted with an illusion, well luckily we have something that can uh, dispel that immediately if the game would work with me thank you there we go the entire wall completely gone and then it seems to be that there's an elemental over there so give me a second to save of course and then apply Quen. I don't think Igni is gonna do much but hey might as well be able to try. Hello. Golem. I think golems are elementas. So let's apply enhanced elementa oil. Okay. Ooh, smack. Let's try uh, Erden here. Yeah, so let's. Get back into the trap, boy -o. Let's try and place a damage dealing one. It does its work. Keeps it stunned as well. Ooh, that was close. Almost down. There we go. Get by. Infuse dust, golem's heart, and monster essence. Thank you very much. So another little save. Look at that fancy trap. Okay, I think that's the first time I actually used that in combat. So that just damages enemies close by and uh, protects me because it keeps them stunned, especially those uh, larger enemies. Uh, it's very handy to keep them stunned. So, is there anything over here? Looks like another door. I need a key. Okay. Where would I find that key? There's a torch here. Let's just look around a bit because it's a pretty big cave actually. There's two sides. Uh, I cannot blast open this side apparently. There we go. And it looks like we're gonna need a bit of a dive. Yeah, there's a chest over there, so I might as well find something right here. Very nice alchemy materials and crafting materials, but no diagrams yet. Anything over here? 
Whew. This looks like a trap. There's a chest. But they're usually guarded by rates. Okay. Invoice for a golem. Issued by Yehuda Lo, purchaser Erinu West Var Steingard. The names in this game. Goods purchased. Gol Guardian Golem Clay Porcelain. Warranty in the event of damage to the ceramic. Please report immediately to the nearest branch of Yehuda Lo and apprentices. The Golem can only be serviced by qualified company personnel. Okay. Not really uh, recognizable names though. Uh, those just mushrooms, yeah, both balls. Okay, let's head back. Yeah, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. It is a simple level 7 wraith, though. There we go. And more specter dust and essence of wraith for me. That was it, just one. Okay, fine by me. So that's where I came in from, so let's head over to this side and look around for anything I can use because I kind of need a key. Um, does this go up? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, an inscription. Look to the depths to be lifted up. Okay. Looks like a bit of a puzzle. Um, another research notes. As per the instructions of our supervisor, Irenius for Steingard, we have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of the creatures commonly known as drowners. Sadly, Administering a poison made of fugu fish induced a coma in all the specimens in the study. After 24 hours, the vital functions of all above mentioned specimens ceased, prohibiting us from continuing with the study. Matea Saikula. Okay then. So they were. Well, experimenting with drowners in this place, apparently. Um, can I do anything here? There seems to be. levers. Wait, look to the depths to be lifted up. Some of these statues are pointed outwards and some of them are pointed to the inside. So maybe I should... Which one does this rotate? Okay, that one. Rotate again, so you're looking at the center. And I might... Okay! That's nice. Nice of you. Okay, so does that mean I made a mistake or not? Because I think that's correct, no? So I rotate, I rotate again, and then another wraith or... No? Yes? No? Okay. Let's keep the, the quensine going anyway. Mysterious recipe. Dear Pascal and Timo, I've got a bit of time between these treatments I have to administer, the, administer to these stinking drowners, so as promised I'm writing you the recipe for my famous spiced chicken and pumpkin stew. Okay then, I'm not gonna read that, because it's kind of... Well, it's a recipe. I'm sure you'll figure out the process on your own. Good luck, M.T. Yes, you owe me now. M.T. Okay, interesting. So uh, let's continue swapping these statues. This one should turn that one around. So if I activate him twice, he's now looking towards the center as well. Wraith? No wraith? Okay. I'm just gonna keep that up though, so uh, I'm probably gonna have to turn this one three times around. Once, twice, and thrice. There we go. This one is not in the right direction either, so... One, two... So this one seems to be the only one that's actually in the correct position, so I need to change that one, and then this one. Move it. Thank you. And then again. Oh, look at that. 
uh, since we're doing experiments on drowners. Yeah, I can see them uh, swimming around in there. So I probably should... No, not the magic lamp. I'm gonna use my crossbow. Can't really see them well. I think I have to shoot them, no? Because if I go in there, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get face raped. So I only am able to kill them. Okay. Oh shit. There we go. Okay, so that's all the drowners. I'm gonna quickly surface to heal up. There we go. Swallow. And the drowners are down. So I can't shoot them from outside apparently. In some weird form of physics, there seems to be something down here. Corpse of some kind? Ah, there's a key. Okay. So one of the uh, lab assistants must have uh, fallen down here. Is there anything in here, actually? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That's surface. So, open the door. Oh, what's that? So let's save, because that guy doesn't look really friendly, especially with all the... No good, no evil. Mad? Is that... Heejin! Wait, that's the Witcher! That's the Witcher from the things that we found. So yeah, he's using Quen to stop the burning damage, as I would do. That's kind of bullshit. Come on, come closer. No good, no evil. Okay. So this guy has clearly gone mad. Hence the name, probably. This is not the end. Yes, it will be for you. He looks like a corpse. Holy shit. There we go. Wow. So that was the Witcher that locked that one guy up in the ruins from... Uh, where Philippa Eilhart was uh, staying. So laboratory notebook and one, two, three, four diagrams. Okay, there's only two left then. Uh, let's check out his notes. Day one, luckily the teleport deposited us directly in my laboratory. It's good to be home. I had grown sick to the gills of that leaky tub. I hope that storm I summoned smashed it into those craggy rocks off the grassy knoll shore. The experiments which my students conducted on drowners in my absence you did not yield the expected results. As usual, I must do everything myself. I will administer a brew of medicinal opium to the subject. This milk of the poppy will keep the witcher in a state of half-consciousness and thus incapable of any resistance. Commencing studies. Note: I must hold off on my planned experiments while I clear up the demolished portion of my laboratory. I have set the bones in the forearm of one of my assistants. I will now administer a quadruple dose of milk of the poppy to the witcher. Day 4. Subject shows incredible resistance to physical torture, only broke after the second day of intense labor. Moderately satisfactory results from the interrogation. Garnered information about witcher training and the cat school of witches in general, as I suspected the cat school witches are for the most part of elven stock. 
their school must have some tie to the elder races addendum, perhaps its founder was a member of the NSAID. Subject unfit for further study, I have discontinued his doses of poppy. Day 7. Administered extract of cowbane and hemlock. In typical representatives of the human and NSAID species, such a mixture provokes paral paralysis of the peripheral nervous system and eventually of the nerve endings as well. This results in muscular, skeletal, pulmonary and cardiac paralysis and ultimately death through suffocation. The Witcher is not, however, a typical representative of any species. Though the poison did seem to cause some mild irritation in his nervous system, his mutated body quickly managed to neutralize the harmful alkaloids. In a matter of hours, all symptoms of the poison I administered have vanished. Day 15. Stinging him with a sea wasp toxin. Stinging him with sea wasp toxin did not provoke the expected results. In order to strengthen the toxin's effect, I have poured ethyl alcohol into his wounds. His nervous system seems to be immune. Day 26. The subject has been tortured, poisoned, burnt, frozen, starved and dehydrated and despite it all his body continues to function. His, he eats and drinks by himself, moves about his cell and on his own and is able to articulate simple words. Please drink, don't hurt, stop. Conclusion: As I suspect that the Witcher is a superb energumum. A demon trapped in such an excell excellently repaired body will become death incarnate. Vengeful wrath made flesh and placed at my command. No one has succeeded in creating a being of such power since the time of Malaspin and Alzur. This is a great day for signs. Time be to begin the incantations. So... A sorcerer tortured the Witcher Kijin and tortured him to check out how resistant his body was. And eventually he used his body to harbor a demon, if I understand it correctly. That became this monster that we just fought. So it wasn't just the mad witcher that we fought, but actually... Ooh, enhanced dragon in oil. Um, well, a demonic witcher, which is uh, creepy to even mention. So I'm gonna quickly loot this place and take a look around, and I'll get back to you. So, nothing special, uh, a lot of uh, dwarven spirit and the like, so uh, I'm gonna head back outside and try to make my way to uh, the ruins of Drahim Castle. So without further ado, I'll see you die there in a minute. Well, Drahim Castle is actually not that far from Novigrad, it's only uh, 200 paces away, and there seems to be a batch of bandits around here, but I might be able to just sneak around those. They can't reach me here with their swords, can they? This dog looks a bit disemboweled. Ooh, interesting. Uh, there's blood. Blood trail leads to the cellar. Is this another quest that's also here? Well, might as well check it out. Dark iron ore, always handy. Is this water or no? Ooh. Ghouls dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale, cracked. Hmm. Is I gotta explore the tower. Oh, that's for the white lady. Okay, never mind. I'm not here for that, but we might as well. Uh, remember that because of course I'm gonna do that quest so it's okay. okay something apparently came out of the water but I'm not gonna think about that I'm here for some stuff what the hell where am I now this is apparently not where I need to be because it still says it's somewhere outside here oh hmm. I want to look around some. Yes, of course, Geralt. I first need to look at that uh, thingy, that symbol, before I should check out this tower. If we're going to come across that white lady accidentally, that's going to be a bit gross. There's more stuff. 
Something outside here doesn't look like it. There's more rats. What the hell? Strange. As if a whirlwind came through. Huh. Okay. Well, it's not here anyways. Where is the diagram? I'm gonna head downstairs now. Okay, we're in the basement now. Uh, this looks more promising, actually. Yeah, there we go. Prince Adrian's, Adrian's journal and the steel sword. So that's what we were here for. Uh, anything else? Nothing really. So I'm gonna head back outside. And I'm not gonna let you uh, watch me get up again. So uh, see you at the wreck of the flying stag. And I'll read the journal over there then. So I kind of had to swim over here, but uh, here's the wreck of the flying stag. Hopefully not haunted or anything. Um, can I get on here? Doesn't doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. First, I'm going to read that journal. Kijin performed wonderfully. So. Uh, we already knew that Kijin had to steal something from a research team and uh, report back to this Prince Adrian. It's a shame, of course, that Professor Gloger disappeared somewhere in the ruins of Astaire, along with the rest of the elven diagrams, but those sketches for a steel sword alone are worth as much as a village in southern Redania. We split the takings equally, as per our agreement. I kept the diagram for the silver sword, while Kijin took the crossbow diagram. I must admit, I didn't exactly need every member of the expedition's head preserved in vinegar, but they do constitute impressive proof of Kijin's consciousness, conscientiousness and professionalism. The Witcher swore none of the archaeologists would ever leave Estayer alive, and none did. All the more shame then that Kijin didn't accept my offer. As my personal bodyguard, he would never have wanted for a thing. Steady pay, caviar and strawberries for breakfast, Lobster for lunch, daily baths, a court surgeon, and courtesans of both sexes for all his needs. And if he still lacked for anything, he had but to knock on my chamber door. He must very much love all that trudging around the world, because I did not relieve Jacob of Dambich. Could have dangled a better offer than I did. Really now, Jacob of Dambich? A second-rate captain transporting horse to dockside Novigrad pimps for a fistful of crowns? With any luck, sooner or later a storm will sink that leaky tub of his, and Kijin will return to me tail between his legs. Uh, scrub the waxing, blade oil, devil's puffball, contortions. Ink visible, visibly fresher than previous entries, many years must have passed. I have heard, I have heard the flying deer, the vessel in which Kijin was sailing, wrecked off the coast of the grassy knoll. Was it my curse? Hmm, not bad for a beginner. Perhaps I should think about enrolling at Banard. So was Prince Adrian the sorcerer in question? Because the other research notes said from the sorcerer said that uh, his storm caused the ship to sink. That would be a bit too far-fetched, probably. What was that? There's something over there, but... There we go, the feline crossbow. And we have probably the last bit of information. Mage's note. Kijin has enlisted with the flying stag as a guard of sorts. A hefty sack of Novgrad crowns convinced the captain to, to lodge me in his cabin. All is going according to plan. I'm actually finding this expedition amusing. I'm glad I didn't contract the kidnapping out to some bulgy armed half-wit. I'll do it more gracefully myself. He's cautious. I won't be able to put him down with a casually placed poison apple. Guess I'll have to zonk him out with a spell and whisk him away via teleport. I just hope it won't plop us down somewhere in the middle of Temple Isle instead of in my quarters below it. The power pulsating from my laboratory tends to throw off a good portion of my attempts to teleport home. So that's actually went pretty well since he came back to his laboratory. Very high level res resistance to psionic spells. Time needed for full penetration of his nervous system, half an hour at least. A few more moments and the Witcher will be ready for transport. Now I just need to wipe our tracks. Perhaps a little change in the weather. While waiting for more favorable 
atmospheric conditions, I looked through his things, some very intriguing documents, a map of Astaire, crafting diagrams of elven provenance, Marginote highly interesting sketch for a one-handed crossbow, most likely used to hunt draconids or ornithosaurs, or ornithosaurs, must ask about this during interrogation, confirms my theory that the witchers of the cat school use elven weapons. And, wait for it, Professor Sigismund Gloger's notes, it's clear the witcher had something to do with the famous professor's disappearance. I think I might have overdone it a bit with those uh, cumulonimbus? Cumulo Nimbi, oh the, the clouds. No point in tarrying, time to evacuate. So he uh, he overdid the storm and that caused the ship to wreck. So that's the scavenger hunt complete, but of course my video wouldn't be complete if I didn't make that uh, gear as well. So I'm first gonna check out what I heard here. So the captain's log, hey, might as, read, might as well read that as well. Left Novigrad heading south to Bremavort. All's calm. Arrived in Bremavort, ports full, four hulks, six cogs, one carrack, and nigh on a dozen longships. Strange, near half the longships carry privateers in the Empire's employ. Now what's old Nilfgaard want a pirate fleet for? And why is she anchored in Bremavort? Done loading, all passengers on board were leaving Bremavort, of course, set for Novigrad. Strange. A mage page through the nose to share a cabin with a witcher. Freaks are drawn to each other, it seems. That witcher's a real treasure. It's not just about monsters, even customs officers are more civil with Kijin around. And they aren't as annoyingly scrupulous as usual. Seems the legends surrounding our witcher have curtailed their zeal. Pressure's falling rapidly, winds changing, changed directions. Could use that mage now, one that followed the witcher like a shadow, but the two of them are nowhere to be found. Cowards. Boatswain says he heard a terrible ruckus in the witcher's cabin this morning, with bright flashes coming out from under the door. Been quiet since, must investigate. Their cabin's empty, can't search the ship now, need to reef the sails, won't make it a port, must stay out at sea. We'll raise the stay sails and hope the gods watch over us from there. That didn't go as well. And... It sounds like there's a creature around here guarding a treasure. What level is it in? Looks like a basilisk. What level are you? 14. Okay, I can handle that. Oh, holy shit. No, you don't. Yeah, burn, baby. Get over here. Just jump in my direction. That should take care of it. So this is what a basilisk looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Bestiary entry added for basilisks. Oh, the basilisk mutagen. That might be handy to make the decoction. Anything in his treasure pile? Well, a corpse of a soldier, apparently. So, I'm gonna head back to uh, Oxenford probably to craft all the gear. So see you guys there in a second. Um, funny side note, um, I swam to this, because the, the wreckage is over there, I swam to this lighthouse to find the nearest signpost and this is actually the lighthouse where you uh, have uh, sexual intercourse with Triss when you uh, don't bid her farewell in now or never. So, funny little side note, but see you in Oxenford. So, let's pay a visit to our uh, friend the armorer to create. Wait, wait a second. Is it? I'm wrong. What the hell is it? Oh, it's over here. Never mind. Honor the to create that lovely feline armor. Greetings again. So. You got a job for me, an interesting one. A very interesting one. I'd like you to craft something for me. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. And I'm kind of hoping I have everything. So, feline boots. That's a no-brainer, apparently. There we go. Feline boots complete. The feline chest armor. There we go. Also... 
no trouble. I already have the enhanced uh, version as well since I already found that in one of my other ventures. I think it was in a... yeah, that was in uh, Iramas' uh, estate, the one that where we had to go from one uh, portal to the next with the cheese from Daria and Darkness. So I need one set of nails uh, for the gauntlets and then we have the trousers, feline trousers, we need two leather scraps. So I think we can make all that. Uh, crafting components. So... Two leather scraps. So make that twice. And then nails. Oh, seriously? Can't I make nails? Well, let's shop for that then. Because I'm gonna presume you have that. Um, yeah, okay. Thank you. There we go, let's craft the rest. We did the boots, we did the chest armor, no crafting components. We need to make the gauntlets, I think. Yeah, that's what we need the nails for. Needed the nails for. And then the trousers. Feline trousers. There we go. There we go. I will probably be overburdened, so I'm gonna quickly sell some stuff. There we go. So long. And now we're gonna quickly head to the blacksmith as well and craft the two swords and the crossbow, because that's. Uh, the special thing about the feline stuff, uh, you can make a crossbow as well. And that's probably the thing I'm gonna use from now on as my crossbow. Because it's actually pretty nice. So there we go, Mr. Blacksmith. Hopefully he's still... Oh no, he's not in business anymore. I'm gonna quickly meditate here. So, late in the afternoon. End of... Well, before noon, actually. I'm <laughs> completely off the record there. Ah, a customer. A customer. Well, craft something. Will you craft something for me? So we had the boots, chest armor, that's all done. Feline crossbow, no problem at all. As especially that, oh, wax. I have wax, apparently. And a bit of monster hair. So, feline crossbow, there we go. Thank you. And then the feline silver sword, also no problem. My uh, hoarding is paying off, and there goes the steel sword. Uh, I'm gonna sell him some stuff, so Show stuff me as what well. You got on offer. There we go, a bit lighter as well. Farewell. There we go. So, now I'm gonna quickly equip this and show you how that looks, because I'm still gonna wear the griffin armor set, but uh, just so you can see. So it looks kind of like a sailor uh, armor. I can't use the crossbow yet because it's actually for level 29. Uh, a bit ridiculous if you ask me because it's only 4 damage more than the crossbow I'm using now. But that's how I look. I'm gonna zoom out. There we go. Look at that. Fancy with the, uh, the sleeveless outfit. Uh, a bit more tough guy look but I'm gonna head back to the griffin gear. But uh, as for this episode, I'm going to take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope you do enjoy these kinds of episodes, I promise to do everything, and I believe that the, the gear episodes can be a bit boring, but it's also nice to see uh, how you look. The stories in them are a bit more convoluted, but I like explaining everything, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the reading I did. So um, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to use that shiny red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. This will really help supporting me uh, in making this content. So thank you guys again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!